मॉड्यूल एट ग्रुप बाई एंड फिल्टर फंक्शन नाउ विल फर्स्ट लुक ऑन टू ग्रुप बाई फंक्शन सो ग्रुप बाई इज बेसिकली यूज वैन वी वॉन्ट टू ग्रुप द आइटम्स इन द व्यू बेस्ड ऑन सम स्पेसिफाइड क्राइटेरिया से सपोज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सी ऑल द एक्टिविटीज टूगेदर वो है द सेम रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और say that we want to see all the activities grouped together in which the critical slack or what we can say the total slack is critical that is it is zero so in order to do this you first need to go on to this view tab click on it now over here in the view tab you have a group by feature so in this click on to the drop down menu now here you have some of the inbuilt group by features available by microsoft project 2010 please to ignore this as these are some of that created by me now suppose if we want to group the task based on the criticality that is whether activity is critical or not just you need to go click on critical and here it is we can see over here that all the critical activities that is the activities in which the total slack is equals to 0 Have been grouped together, and in which the total slack does not equals to zero has been grouped together. Similarly, if we want to look for responsibility, then we can directly click over here responsibility. Note that this was made by me, and it's saved. It might not be directly visible on your project file. So you click over here, and we can see over here that they are grouped by responsibility. So Alan has an activity F, Jack has D, Smith has C and G, and this was. Unnamed, so it's unnamed over here. Now suppose you want to customize the group by menu according to you. So you have that option too in Microsoft Project 2010. To do so, click over here. You can go on to New Group by. Click over here. Now over here you can write over here the group name. Suppose I want responsibility as well as. critical so now here in this bar you can click over here and we can see your drop down menu where we will select first of all responsibility so there is text one fill type and here we have this then we have group by option you can click on over here and we can look for total slack Oh, here it is, and click on apply. So you can see over here the activities are grouped based on responsibility. Suppose if you look, there is an Alan over here, and under that we have all the activities listed under Alan, which has a zero slack over here. So this is how you can create as and as you require multi-level group by function. Now. In order to remove this group by feature, you need to click over here and just click over here, no group, so that you will by default get back the starting screen. So this is all about the group by function. Now let's look on the second part, that is filter function. Now, in case of filter, the view is generally based on the selected criteria. So now. Let's get started using a filter function. To do so, we can go on to this view tab, and under that we have an option filter over here. So similarly, as group, it has some built-in filters itself. So suppose if you want to look on to the critical activities, you can just click over here on critical. So it would just list down only those activities which are critical. That is, the activities in which total slack is zero. Now suppose if you want to view the activities in a specific date range so this is a box in which you can enter the data and you can get the values as a part of filter function so it's basically known as an interactive filter in which we can feed the data so now let's select the activities falling between 27th of october 2013 okay and before First of November, two thousand thirteen. Press OK. 
So now here you can see all the activities that fall between the selected date range. So this is how the interactive filter works. Now the question is can we make an interactive filter? Yes, absolutely yes. So now let me show you how to make an interactive filter. To make an interactive filter, go to this tab, go on to new filter and over here write the filter name new interactive filter. Now we need to put on the conditions over here. So let's first of all put the fill name over here. So let the fill name be responsibility test now we would put equal to over here and over here we need to enter the question in the following syntax double inverted commas who is responsible double inverted comma close and then we need to put a question mark now if we want to use an end function and we want to see which activities are critical so click over there then we we'll go on to total select equals and we can write over here enter uh, enter the value of slack and press apply so this is it who is responsible we can select Allen press ok now enter the value of slack if you want to see a critical activity we can place 0 or if any other value as we want to see now let's put 0 and press ok so now we can see the activities which belong to Allen and having a total slack equals to zero so this is how the interactive filter works and based on the requirement we can create a multiple level filter now if we want to get back to the preview view similarly as we do in a group you can directly go over here and click on no filter so this is all about group by and filter function in Microsoft Project 2010